650 Spider in Mantis Green. Okay, quick shout out to the person operating the drone. You do not have permission, and unless you passed your commercial license, you're flying illegally, sir. Can you please land immediately? Uh -huh. Totally randomly. Bye. Imagine if it was raining, it would never get traction. Ah, we got the uh, Stratus Tribute car. Oh, possibly having engine issues. Uh, but the, after that, we've got the Bentley, which is, was driven very spiritedly on the very first run. And he's been up the hill a few times now, so. Could get very, very leery. Ah, that's, that's a shame. Ah. <laughs> there is a chance, rather embarrassing, that it might not run out of fuel. But we'd rather have that than mechanical damage. Run out of fuel. I'm bent on it. Everything about this company is menacing in the most pleasant way. It's a super sport. He raced Porsches for 20 years. Quicker than his race car. <laughs> Brilliant. We'll stay for eight and then we'll go and, and uh, stay for these eight cars. How super slick have things been? I think that will mean we're actually a couple of minutes ahead of schedule. Absolutely tick tock with everything today, perfect in every way.
There's no traction down there, bro. I'm just spinning as soon as the start of the line. I bet this will spin as well if he puts his foot down. Come on then. Fellows, why, 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 Just spin it. Go and launch it. See. No, he's probably going to need After that, yeah. <laughs> Well done. This was the first Honda NSX to be registered by Honda Chiswick in 1991. It went incredibly gently up the track last time. A little bit faster this time. This was a I'd go with that thing. Ferrari FF 6.3 V12. He's owned it from you. 2016, one of 231 UK registered right hand drive cars. Oh, yeah, that was the big factor of this one the last time up. The list of options is 43 grand's worth of options after it's all the car. But the nice thing is, he's not afraid to use it. McLaren. 43 grand, what houses do you see? 675 L. <laughs> It'd be a nice deposit. <laughs> the cheap, cheapest is 200, 200 k. At least he knows how to do this guy. With 43 guns of extra. That's my car, that is. <coughs> that is my. That's the price of my car. <coughs> Come on. Caught in a minute now. Let's waste the battery. Should have bought my portable. Oh, I did. I bought my portable. It's in the boot. Damn it.
back of the camera down earlier as well. The their foot is just broke or something. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Go and have some fun. on fire or is it is he vaping or something <laughs> well I'm glad I decided to come and chat to you but brilliant backstory what you do for a living John you got the car it A very happy event, without a doubt, but you two definitely got the biggest smiles I've seen. One last thing, I think for any... What's the organisers of today, really? So, uh, that's such a marvellous job. Yeah, he's nation. still in there, he's held it, he's in there. He's got hope. <laughs> oh, it's normal. It's <laughs> left the lights on, it's the electric. Oh, it's... <laughs> they're pushing it back. I'm going to go to the car to the floor. It's like oil or something on the floor there. Looks like it's something on the floor. Yeah. Oh, something's broke. <laughs> VIP stand boys. VIP toilets boys.
sorts going on. Right, we have two cars going up the track now, at the same time. <laughs> Mr. Range Rover apparently is a film unit. Film unit. So this Ferrari is being driven by James Collado, who won the 24 hour this year. <laughs> Grips on the bottom of it, so it's stop it. My SQ2 would love this. So you can see the drivers, they've really now got an idea for the uh, where the apexes are, where they're going to get power down. They're confident they're not going to spin off and damage these incredibly exotic, rare and expensive machines. Um, so they're all basically giving a bit more beans each time. Everybody attacking the first bed a lot more aggressively now. So my plan for the day, um, now we've introduced all the cars to you. McLaren Bristol. I think we've got a couple of McLaren dealers put their demo cars out. Um, and then towards the end of the lunch break, I was feeling quite hungry. I hadn't realised that things were going to be this swift. Well, uh, oh, it was just going wonderfully well. But I'm running out of calories, so I'm going to have to grab something else to eat. Uh, but then we'll start doing interviews. Now, those interviews will be with the guest guest drivers. Like <laughs> Normally coming over the radio now. <laughs> So I'll be speaking to uh, some of the trainers, some of the sponsors, some of the car owners. Uh, McLaren? Another well, McLaren. Like randomly walking around, anybody will see you. Just, don't be frightened, it's just a chat between me and you, if you people listening. Um, and then this afternoon what we'll do is I'll, I'll head on up to the other commentary point. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the star car from my last visit here, bizarrely, was a Robin 
sorry, a reliable robin. Okay, this is the last in this batch and then uh, we'll close the hill and bring all the ones that have gone up back down again. This is a Noble M12 GT3. And then the, uh, the hill will open up again and we'll be running right through till 5 p.m. Next the time when the entertainment kicks off for the Supercar Fest party down here uh, in, uh, just behind the bar. 
and there's live music throughout the evening, there's a barbecue that will be running between 6 and 9, so basically that's the place to get. When the hill closes, come down to the paddock area and work your way up to the the night after. Yeah, I got it. 